Well, hello there. So today's video is going to be a Mother's Day inspired collab that I'm doing with some very lovely ladies here on YouTube. They will all be listed and linked down below. So don't forget to go on over and check everybody out, share the love and show them love. So Mother's Day is here and we're trying to think of something that inspired us. So I thought it would be really nice to choose a flower, whether if it's your favorite flower or it's a childhood memory like it is for me, choose a flower and get inspired from that flower to do an eye look. So I'm not good at inserting pics yet, so I'm still learning a few things, but I am inspired from a rose. It's the salmon rose and it just, it's at our, our childhood home, which is still there. My sister has the home now and my mom, my mom's alone because my dad has passed. It's been 25 years. And so my mom has her own condo now and my sister has a house, which is really comforting and really nice. And there's this beautiful salmon rose bush. And I just remember it with us girls and my mom and yeah, so this is, I'm sure you all know what a salmon rose looks like, but that's it. And that is the look, you know, that I came up with and I thought it is really pretty. I wanted to keep it soft with no black eyeliner. So I hope you guys like it. It's going to be a talk through. Bear with me. And yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So just... You're going to have to bear with me a little bit because I want to, you know, get up close and personal so you guys can, yeah. All right, let's get started. So I'm using the baby lips mm -hmm. because of the last video, my lips were so dry, it was ridiculous. Okay, so benefits stay, don't stray. We're just going to take some of that and apply it right onto the lid. I love this. This is my Holy Grail eye primer. It just, my shadows stay really, really nice. They stay all day long and it's just the best. So that's what we're using. And then I'll bring whatever I have left up to the crease area like that always have a wipe ready. Okay, so we're going to be working with a pigment from MAC. We're also going to be working with some Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well. And there we go. All right. So now that we're going to let that set, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull back my hair just so it is out of the way. Okay, so I hope this close-up look let me know if it's too close or if, you know, you guys are digging it, okay? Got to get used to this, though. <laughs> All right, so now that that's set, we're going to let it set for just a second. But while it does set just a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and take a brush. So here's the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that we're going to be working with. Yeah, there's just so much of a glare, but we're going to be working with all of these down here, and I'll show you individually as we go. So the first one we're going to work with is going to be Vanilla Bean. And we're just going to take Vanilla Bean and a fluffy brush, and we're going to bring it all the way from the brow all the way down to the crease area. Okay. Also guys, let me know how the lighting is. I'm really trying to work on it. Um, I've already had lighting, but if the lighting is just way too bright and not what I like, I'm going to end up ordering a ring light. So give me your opinions and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so now that we have vanilla bean down and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the crease. And I'm sure you could hear Athena snoring, so I apologize, but she has to be in here with me. Okay, next up we're going to take a big fluffy brush and we're going to take the shade Peach Smoothie. Mm. Athena! So we're just going to take Peach Smoothie and we're going to kind of press it 
into the crease and we're going to bring it in the crease and right above the crease. And I am really been trying to, I was watching Goss, which I love to watch him, and he says, you know, the wrong way to put on um, eyeshadow is to close your eyes. You want to have your eyes open. Of course, if you're working with your lids, that's a little different. But yeah, so I've been tr really trying to take his advice and roll with it. All right, so now that we have that transition shade there, we're going to move to the next shade, which is going to be the shade Chickadee. It's a very deep yellow toned eyeshadow, really, really nice. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring it right to the outer, kind of press it in, and then just slowly blend it into your crease. I love this shade. It's just really nice to kind of play with and um, do some other shades. Mix, mixing shades together is really, really fun. Then you can see what you get. So now that we have that all blended, okay. Now we're going to move on to the next shade, and that's going to be the shade Coco Bear, which I absolutely love. It's a great red-brown tone shade, and Makeup Geek's prices are really affordable. So this shade, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take the same fluffy brush. I'm going to start here, and then I'm just going to blend it almost into the outer V. And I'm going to switch brushes to my Sigma E40. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to take Cocoa Bear yet again. We're going to bring it right here. And we're just going to concentrate it mainly in the outer V. So I have a problem. I always tilt my head. I don't know why. Hmm. It works so. The key is blending, so you want to really make sure that you are blending your eyeshadows. Blend, blend, and then blend again. So I'm going to blend away. And then I'm going to take this brush right here, which is a really nice brush. It blends everything really beautifully. So just doing that and then I'm going to pop back up to the brow bone and for that I'm just going to take this brush here from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take a little NYX it's called I Have a Headache and I'm going to just start bringing that underneath this is going to kind of clean it up a little bit and give it a nice pop. It's also matte, so it just, it does a really nice job of cleaning up any harsh lines that you might have. And um, also it brings a pop of color. So I kind of have that packed on. And then I'm gonna take this eye contour brush from Starlux, and I'm gonna just blend that out now. And as you can see, it blends out really, really nice. Leaves a nice, sharp, clean edge that's very seamless. All right. Okay, so I think we are just about there. Now we're going to move down to the lids. So for the lids, the first shade that I'm going to take is Cosmopolitan. And it looks something like this. It's really, really pretty, and I'm just taking a concealer brush. I love to use the concealer brushes for lid shades. So we're just going to apply that onto the lid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then next we're going to take Mango Tango, which is a beautiful orange toned peach, peach, peachy orange, 
And I'm going to take the same brush, take it right into Mango Tango, and I'm going to apply it right on top of Cosmopolitan. Okay. And I have a snoring little puppy underneath me. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my E40 and just kind of blend, mesh everything together. And I'm going to add a little more Cocoa Bear and just blend. Looks, looks good so far, so good. You want to make sure that you just blend everything really, really nice. Okay, I'm cleaning any fallout. Now we're going to go on to the pigment, which is Rose Pigment by MAC. So this is what that looks like. Very, very, very beautiful. So what I like to do is I just open the pigment and set it on a, I have it on a paper towel. And I'm going to be taking another concealer brush. And I'm also going to be working with e.l.f. Glitter Glue. I want to get the Too Faced glitter glue, glitter primer, whatever it is. I want it and I think it would be worth it. So I'm buying it after today. So I just put a little on there and then what I'm going to do is tap it onto the paper towel so that it's tacky. And then I'm going to pack it on to my lid. And this process, you wanna work a little fast, but not too fast. So pack it, clean your brush off, and then take it into the pigment. So I have the pigment here, and now I'm going to just, I like to lean over because I have a paper towel right here. Pigments are just so messy. Mm. I just tap it along. Get a little more if you need it. It's okay, Tina. He thinks she's having a bad dream. There we go. Okay, so we have it all over the lid. Now, this is what I like to do next. I like to take my MAC Fix Plus and I just give it a spray and then I go over it just in case there's anything loose or freestanding and just really make sure that it's um, packed on. Now right here I'm going to just blend that line out with a Jessup, just a Jessup pencil brush. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cover up my pigment so it doesn't spill. So there's the eye so far. Now we're gonna take that same E40 and we're just going to blend and make sure there's no harsh lines. And then we're gonna go right back in to Cocoa Bear and just build it up on the outer V. And now we're gonna go into one of my favorite shades from Makeup Geek, and this is going to be Razzleberry. It's beautiful and very, very pigmented. So we're gonna take that, as you could see how pigmented that is, and we're just going to build that right here. Blend it into the pigment and build it up. So just take your time, build. You know, I really love Makeup Geek's products. They're super affordable. I think the sh eyeshadows, the regular eyeshadows are um, five $5.99. I don't know if the price has changed on them or if they're going to, um, I don't know, but um, yeah. 
So, real quick, let's... All right. Now, one more time, I'm going to take this brush and just blend any harsh lines out. And yeah, I think we're right where we need to be. So I'm going to clean the fallout and all right, let's get on to the lashes. I'm using my same eyelashes, which are the double ups. I just ordered the um, cocoa lashes. Coco Goddess Lashes. Yeah. I saw Velma wearing them and they were absolutely beautiful. So I have to try them out. And I'm one for big eyelashes. I just am naturally. So, all right, guys. Okay, I'm going to pop on my eyelash. And yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna take Chickadee right here. And I'm just gonna take that on a crease brush and we're gonna start applying it to my lower lash line. I hope I'm in frame. So. Oh, yes. Did you see that? That hurt. Almost like a pop of, um, and I am using the viewfinder as a mirror, and I shouldn't. How's that? Should we back it up at the chest? A hair, huh? There we go. Is that a little better, guys? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take Coco Bear and we're gonna sweep that right under the eyes as well. And then that's pretty much it. So. do too much to the under eyes. Okay. And the sun is like shining directly in. All right, guys, we are going to do a couple more things really quick. We're going to take uh, Makeup Geek's Lemon Drop. And I'm just taking a concealer brush and I'm going to go I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna go right here. To the inner part of the eye. Okay, and then we're gonna go to this eye. And it's just going to give it a pop of, of color, a pop of yellow, and I think it's going to go really, really well with the entire look. So, excuse the wide eyes. <laughs> so that's our highlight. I'm just kind of building up the inner corner. And then I'm going to dust off any excess. All right, guys, now let's zoom out a little bit. All right, oh, that's in. <laughs> there we go, how's that? Hey, hello everybody. I keep hitting this damn camera. All right, so um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, just to let you guys know, I used this on my cheeks. This is Lady Rouge. It's absolutely beautiful from Milani. I think it went with the eyes, complimented it. And then I went with Hollywood Boulevard from Wet n Wild 
This is an amazing product. You guys need to get it. Check it out if you do not if you do not own it. Okay, real quick, I'm going to take Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I really love this mascara. And we're going to just pop it on the lashes. Lower lashes only. There we go. There. And that's it. That would complete our Mother's Day inspired look. For the lips, I am just going to take Too Faced, it's upside down, Too Faced Melted in um, Melted Peony. And I think a soft pink lip would look really nice or a nude lip, but I've been wearing all nude, so. There we go. Oh, I don't know if that's too much. Mm -hmm. It might be a little much. Let me know what you guys think. I would definitely go with my Milani Matte Naked. But I wanted to kind of change it up a bit. I hope you guys like this, this look. Let's zoom in on it one more time. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Mother's Day inspired tutorial. I'm sorry it was super long. Let me know if you want more of these chit chat videos. All right. All right, guys. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. Don't forget to go check out all the other ladies that are involved and kisses, hugs, and love to all beauties. Bye guys.